What is up my Squirtleites, it is I, your king, welcoming you back to more Let's Play The Neverhood. In the last episode, we began this very, very crazy adventure with Clayman at the helm. And in this episode, we're going to be continuing along. Now we're going to be heading towards that red building from earlier that we saw. So, we can see what is on the other side and what we're about to run into. Now, the reason I had uh, I said to write down those codes at the beginning is because those actually change with every single save file, that stuff on the wall. That is very important that, that you remember that. There, it's not the only thing that changes every save file. Some things, uh, there are other things where I have to write down as well, but there's other things that also remain constant. So now, let's head on out of here. We're back into another first person segment. There's a few things we're gonna wanna take note of here. Um, first things first, it's actually right over to our left, once we go forward a little bit, is this mushroom thing. Do I dare? Yes, I dare. Okay. Bring out the little five-year-old in you because I think you're going to get a kick out of this. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It gets better. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, one more, one more. Jeez! Dude! That's ridiculous! Okay, you're... I'm sure the sound effects diner... Uh, diner? Sound effects diner, yes. Please, you know, come eat sound effects here. No, sound effects designer. Had a field day with that. Right, we're gonna want to turn this on as well. For some reason, this is gonna make water pour out of the... Triceratops head? I don't... I don't know. It's the Neverhood, guys. That's all I can tell you. There's really no explanation to the weirdness here. It's just weird. So you're going to have to get used to that. <laughs> All right, forward we go. And you guys are about to be treated to one of the one of the best cutscenes in video gaming uh, coming up here. So if you press this, check this out. Okay, that's a little bit frightening. But you guys are about to be treated to uh, one of the best cutscenes in any video game. Have fun. Wait, wait, wait. One more.
Ha! I love it. Okay. So, he's going to snap here a few times. This is actually going to cause this match to fall down, which we do need. So, let's pick this up. Well, before we go any further, though, I do have to show this. No, you can't be killed by him, but this can happen. <laughs> Cracks me up. Okay. So, we're going to want to take a look at this screen. We have that little dummy on the side. We're going to want to change every single thing here to make sure that it has... Uh, a fuse on it in some way or another. So we're gonna want to take all of these off and switch them around. There we go. All right. And so that is gonna actually turn this dummy right here into a TNT thingy. And so now what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to light this. If you could do that, Clayman. Thank you. I'm scooting towards it all precariously. And let's give this guy a snack. Dude, what the frick? Like, that is so morbid. Okay. This game is freaking weird. Me? Okay, there we go. Let's get out of here. So, uh, that, that wall that the weasel, yes, that's what it's called. It's called a weasel. Um, and I'm not kidding. Canonically, it is a weasel. Um, that weasel burst a hole in the wall. So, we're going to actually want to go back to where it was because this is actually going to allow us to get to the second button um, that we're going to need to be pressing. Uh, this one, uh, of course, a different color from the one that we saw earlier. So if we go straight right, we're not going to actually get to anything here. So we're going to want to take this little machine down. And this is a bit of a fun thing to drive. I'm, I'm just going to say that. It's, it's actually not very fun. Especially when you have to drive it in circles like this. You just have to kind of click around and around. No, 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 no. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. There you go. Oh, this thing is a pain in the butt to drive. I'm glad it doesn't have to make you go around too many times. All right, let's press this button. All right, we're good. So, no. Let's go back down. Thank you. Goodness, Clayman. I know I, I know you never got your license and whatnot, but dude, that's no excuse to really drive piss poor. I mean, you probably shouldn't get into something like this if you, if you really don't know what you're doing with it. All right, keep going. Almost there. Ay, ay, ay. And now we can actually head into that yellow building. Um, we actually could do that as soon as we had turned on the water, um, we had turned on the water with the Triceratops head, yeah, yeah, that's, that's part of it. Alright, so let's go this way, and you know what, I'm actually just gonna meet you guys back in the hub area. So now you can actually hear water running when you're out here, which is very, very interesting. So what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna turn left this time, that is the house we came out of at the very beginning of the game. That cave we're gonna wanna go to in a minute, I call it the brain cave, because... Well, I don't know, the swirlies make it kind of look like a brain. And we're going to want to head over to this. I, I called it that when I was three, okay? Just just bear with me for a second. All right, what we're going to want to do here is we're going to press that. Now, remember that vial we got in the long hallway? Fill this up with water. He's going to take a drink, okay? Now, what we need to do here is press this button. We're going to hear a tune. So we actually need to fill up this water, or these, sorry, these tubes with enough water to match that same tune. So we're going to do it like this. Yeah, like that. Weird, right? Eh, it's the neighborhood. Perfect. All right, and in we go. Oh, this guy. Hey, Hi. Say knock knock. Knock knock. Nothing? You got nothing for me. Okay, buddy. I'm just going to pick up this disc and I'm going to keep moving on my merry way. All right. So there's a few things of note in this uh, in this place. Remember how I told you to shut that gate? Well, here's the thing. These, these spikes that come out, this is actually a ladder. These would not be out if you didn't shut that gate in the hallway. So make sure that you do that. Otherwise, you're going to have to backtrack to that room. Put this back in, uh, put this in your stomach. 
and we're gonna head up and for those with a weak stomach I am going to be putting up an annotation so that you can skip what you're about to see but this is something that has to be shown because I know you guys are gonna be curious what this freaking thing is dangling from the ceiling here we go Like I said, this game is freaking weird. All right, let's just pick this disc up and press this orange button, and that'll actually be it for everything in this hub area, and we can actually go on to the next area. So we're going to now head over to the brain cave, as I call it, because in the brain cave there is a door, and that door has three lights on it, three levers, okay? Each lever is activated by the three buttons that we've been pressing. So now we can head on through get out of here and it has to play that song again it's like the password and here we go all right clayman to the brain cave I know I know it's right there but you have to walk this way first for some reason that's just point-and-click logic all right let's turn around turn around again and onward you go Okay, and this next area is where we really start to get into the to the meat of the game. Now that we're out of that that whole segment. So here's the door. Make sure you have press these buttons or they won't light up. There you go. Ah, isn't it beautiful? Isn't it? That's a cannon. That is a cannon. Okay. Whatever. That is a, that is a freaking a freaking cannon. Well, first things first. Oh boy, we actually have this part right here. See this? This this screen. I better get my pen and paper again because I'm gonna have to write some stuff down again. Yeah. So this actually takes a minute. So let's press each one, and we're gonna have these little symbols that we need to write down and you're gonna hear me very distance from the mic while I look down to actually focus on what I'm writing okay this is gonna take me a minute because I want to try to get these exact as possible and again this order changes with every single save file so make sure that you do this and uh, that's close enough <laughs> if I could show you my drawings right now, you would be laughing at me. Okay, that one right there is, is just a sound, alright? just When you're writing this down, just write that as sound, because when you have to go and input these later, there's going to be that sound that pops up again, but it will show a different symbol. Ignore that fact. If the sound plays, that's what one it is, okay? I'll explain again when we actually get back to these symbols. Alright, making sure I'm doing this right okay now there's that symbol um, again all right and then there's that one that was probably not the best way to draw that but whatever that just looks like a freaking disformed comb so that's what I'm going to draw it as is it a disform uh, did I say disformed it's deformed yeah idiot that's probably the easiest one to draw and now that it has repeated we are done so it's just gonna show the whole cycle all over again ignore that fact once you've got every single symbol written down you are good to go oh yeah yeah there is so much to this now last thing we're going to do in this episode is we are going to turn our attention towards this freaking cannon. Let's hop on in. Oh. Um, so we have symbols here actually and remember those symbols I had you write down earlier uh, well that's actually where you would input these but 
it won't matter because we don't have these other three symbols. So you can put in whatever combination you want, it doesn't matter. We just need to press this red button. Um... Wasn't me! Oh boy. Oh, I'm gonna be in trouble for that one. Oh, shoot. Well, that happened. Uh... Feel a little bit bad about that, but whatever, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Ladies and gentlemen, in the next episode, and I didn't mean to walk this way, in the next episode, we're going to be continuing along in our adventures through the Neverhood. Thank you all so very, very, very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.